people that actually sacrifice are underwater. They're underwater 70 to 80 percent of their actual investment. Now you ask yourself, okay, why did I sacrifice? Is this actually fair distribution? Is this uh, applying first principles in, in, in regards to the whole ecosystem? Well, I can tell you that this is not the case, guys. Personally, myself, I sacrificed two years ago, and I'm very sad to see that this is the case, not because I'm losing money in regards to the sacrifice phase, but because we keep applying the same things that aren't working for the average investor that's coming into this, guys. We need to basically move away from these sacrifices phase where the founder actually holds 80 to 90 percent of the allocation where he can actually dump on the community. Now, Richard, Richard has spoken very highly in regards to this aspect where he says, look, would you rather be uh, in in the crypto asset where the founder holds more than 80 to 90 percent or would you rather be in a place where he holds a very small amount? Well, Depending on how this actually gets launched, now this is building the greatest case scenario, okay? This is the greatest campaign scenario for Zen overall, guys. Because if you look at this, guys, if you look at this, there's nothing about this is actually fair distribution, applying first principles overall. We can. So that was a video clip from Crypto Bros, right? Not a good video. Um... Uh, definitely uh, encourage you to watch his video on he's talking about how like people got wrecked on the post chain how he lost everything and such um you know this video about people losing you know all their money at the bridge and these unstable stable coins and such <laughs> but he also brought up some very important questions you know he got into uh you know richard hart posing questions like would you rather a founder holding 80 or 90 percent of a blockchain uh if posed with that question and he talked about uh, uh how it's making a better case for zen crypto just showing just how centralized the post chain would be right so this is a very interesting this is actually a picture of the young richard hart looked like he might be in elementary school and uh, he's posing a picture, it looks like with, you know, around minority kids, African-American kids. And I, I can tell you right now um, that those kids would probably want a fair distribution system. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would tell Richard Hart that fair distribution is probably what they want. And now, interesting enough, you know, this picture showing Richard come from humble beginnings. Um, what's interesting is that. I grew up in South Florida, right? I'm from there. I'm from around the Miami area. I believe Richard Hart was in Davie, uh, Florida. Davie is actually uh, where I took my uh, my national test uh, to become stockbroker, later become a commodities broker, you know, and as I engaged later on my career in Wall Street. And so I, I, I understand that area where he comes from, right? And South Florida was a very interesting place. Um, <laughs> and I did go to many of those smart people schools that Richard Hart talks about. We call it the magnet programs, right? So, uh, there's, a, you know, I, um, a lot of people don't know about me, this about me too. I was one of the first hexagons. I think I did the first video about hex that I can find on YouTube. I did the first video period, I think in 2018. And I did a video call, uh, asking the question is hex a scam. I got thousands upon thousands of views where uh, I made a good case for defending Hex. But here's the problem. Richard Hart was a different person back then. Uh, uh, he had a very, uh, uh, his philosophy was a very much in line with my own, that uh, which was about fair distribution, which was about making these systems efficient where you can have a participatory economy. Uh, the problem now is I think Richard Hart is, either doesn't believe in those principles anymore or he's coming up with these weird things and ideas uh that are anti those ideas like you know a founder holding 9 80 90 percent of a blockchain right wealth and, and value right making decentralization pointless um and uh I, I it also makes me ask the question what are we doing like what are what are you guys doing um like, why are videos like what Crypto Bros doing, what I do, 
why are these videos that require critical thinking the lowest view videos in the crypto space? And then I'm watching these ridiculous videos where you have content influencers uh, who are hyping projects with no critical thinking and you're following them in and some of you are getting wrecked losing all your money. But then these people, like, are these people benefactors themselves? Because I watched some of them and uh, uh, they don't look like they're living the high life to me. Like, even these people out there, like, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, uh, Crypt, Crypt, Cryptologist? Hexologist. Hexologist, right? And there's no strike against Hexologist. But the thing is, uh, I don't think Hexologist makes a lot of, has made a lot of money with Hex or or any of these projects, right? I don't see him getting on the private jets and driving the Lambos. And what's the other guy, Crypto Coffee? Same thing, I don't, you know, either they're very modest or, uh, and, and my question is becoming, why are we hyping these projects exactly, right? They and, and, and who are the people who are benefiting? Who's all these hex millionaires we keep hearing about that people can be? Do you guys actually know one? Who are they, <laughs> you know? Can you show me one? Has one come public yet? Right? Because I know it's a lot of nameless wallets out there with a lot of hex in them. But none of the people who are I'm seeing who are coming forward, because one thing, uh, I don't think that they would be uh, probably even doing live streams, right? If that was the case, right? Anyhow... If you're not a critical thinker, <laughs> then you might as well come over to BitcoinNYK.com where you can do free transactions. So let me tell you something, um, or, or let me ask this question. Maybe you guys can help me understand something, right? So we just had Pepe coin, right, that went crazy on Ethereum. And before that, it was meme, meme coin X and Y and Z, right? So we already have blockchains and projects where you can make a lot of money. You just need to get in the right one, right? Um, what is Pulse Chain doing any, what, what will it be doing any different than that? Because when it comes to fair distribution and when it comes to uh, economic prosperity and uh, fair distribution, it doesn't seem to be fulfilling any of those areas, right? At least you guys, I haven't seen anybody who said it has really, right? Except for a short list of people that could be more, not more than five or 10 people. But uh, if it's not doing that, then and, and, and you're, it's not gonna be a system where people can have value, velocity of money, at a very fast accelerate delivered to them across the globe because that's true economic prosperity when everybody can participate in a fair way and you have money that can be distributed to people and bitcoin nyk not only does it has free transactions on a super fast blockchain uh that is valuable that doesn't have the problem of these other projects right that are good projects right and that's why I don't worry about projects like Bitcoin. That's why I don't worry about Bitcoin and YK in the least, because I know, and everybody else does as well, that these projects are superior to your post chains and your Ethereums and such, right? Just straight out superior, right? And they're the projects that are really going to help the people, right? Do the things that I think Richard Hart set out to do, right? And you can try it today for free. And if you can come back and give me a story as to why you don't believe that, uh, then if you can do that, uh, which I don't think you can, but if you can do that, uh, then maybe you'll be right. But I don't think you're going to be able to do that. Um, I guess what's going to come down to, I'm not worried because I know it's going to come down to this point anyway, or where people are going to move the systems like this, these feedless chains and such because they're creating the best economic prosperity. If we think about uh, your average money transfer system, person sending a million bucks and paying $30,000, right? To send a million bucks, right? And some people will say, oh, well, you know, uh, you could do that on Ethereum and maybe you're only paying a hundred bucks or whatever the gas fees are for that day, right? But the thing is, when you can get to a level 
where the average user who doesn't have a bank account globally doesn't have ID that can still have a wallet hold his valuable resource and it becomes this global remittance economy, right? Then you have changed the face of the world. And uh, that's what Bitcoin and YK can do. Post-chain will never be able to do that ever, right? Nor will Ethereum. Um, but when you get to those levels like that, right, then that's when uh, you're going to be able to change rules and actually help people. And the more people you help, the more valuable your, your project is going to become. Post-chain is not going to help a lot of people, right? It can't. Uh, uh, it's, it's just like the uh, crypto bros guys were saying. He's saying we're not changing. We're not moving away from that. We're not doing critical thinking, right? We're not. We're just simply not, right? And we just keep, just like the definition of insanity, we keep coming around chasing our tails and we're not moving anywhere, right? We're really not. But we are going to move. People are going to accept these superior projects like Bitcoin and YK. Right, people are going to get away from the carousel, the gambling casinos, and those ideologies. People are going to stop getting wrecked and getting scammed and getting uh, the stuff sold to them. Right, that is no different than the the early days of multi-level marketing pyramid schemes and such. People are going to get away from that, right? And they are starting to get away from that. And things and things are going to change. It's already changing. Right. Bitcoin and YK is already here. People are already trying it and they're already finding out that this is going to create more economic value and prosperity than what we're getting with these other ideas and this craziness that is going on. Right. But I love to hear from you guys. Right. When do you think this ends? Like, why are you guys listening to these people? Why are you getting wrecked? Are you that desperate? You know, uh, not to sit down and think about this stuff. Are you that lazy uh, not to, you know, to do the things that work? Because like I said before, guys, if you just want to do the prices going up and down, can I put my money into this and get something out of it? Just catch a meme coin over on um, Ethereum, right? It's easier. It's less troublesome than uh, launching a, 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 another broken chain like what we got with Ethereum. There is no value to this chain, guys, and it's not going to be, right? And I'm sorry to say it that way, but there's nothing uh, 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 innovative about it, right? Uh, this seems like something that they could have launched in a week uh, or a weekend, like uh, Jack Levin was able to do with uh, X1 Testnet, right? <laughs> and, uh, uh, and it doesn't change anything. It's not doing like Bitcoin and YK where people are going to receive thousand dollars a month everybody getting to receive the citizens dividend where people can do free transactions where people actually mine and everybody can participate through a social media activity there is no innovation like that there on the post chain right and, and it's not getting to the heart of the problem or solving it. but that's all i want to say in this video make sure you join bitcoin nyk today stop getting wrecked guys out there stop listening to these people uh, uh, and, and give something like Bitcoin and YK a try. Stop the insanity for change, right? But in order to do that, right, you can't be like the, the, the road that Richard Hart was on where he was on the right road and I believe he did that thing where you come from humble beginnings and you just kind of go off into that, you know, get super rich world where nothing else matters and Nothing matters but that. And then you forget that if you're not helping everybody around the world and you're not bringing value to people, that you're not going to be able to keep creating value because those people aren't getting this value that you're talking about. They can't get it because they can't participate in your economy. It's got to be a participatory economy. And the people in post chain are satisfied with the little nucleus that have formed around them. And they're not interested in moving any other place, right? So that means if they're not going up, the only place left to go is down, right? But tune into our channel videos. Watch these more critical thinking videos where it comes from someone like Crypto Bros. I think another one is called Creative Crypto. Um, uh, of course, us, right? Uh, but, but it just shows the sign of the times. We do the best content. We get less views than anybody. 
right? Uh, in the sis, in the in the in the space, it, 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 you know, it don't matter why things are the way they are. <laughs> but that's all I want to say in this video, guys. Uh, Till next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.